If you love chocolate like I do, there is no other place that you need to be on Saturday than One World Market in Durham. The nonprofit Fair Trade Store is hosting a free chocolate tasting, and April Ravelli joins us to tell us about it. So good to have you here. Thanks for having me. So, April, what does it mean to be a fair trade business as One World Market is? So, what that means is that every product in our store, including the chocolate, the person, the artisan, or the farmer who made the item was paid a fair price. Okay, and also no um, slave labor, right? right? No child slave labor, no no slave labor at all. Now, why do more people not know that this is going on? I think it's just that the mainstream chocolate, they're able to put out commercials and all sorts of things that take your mind away from what actually happens to go into a chocolate bar. You don't think about farmers that are living in Africa that are making the cocoa that makes your chocolate. Mm. Okay, you have a tasting event coming up on Saturday. Yes, Tell us we about do. That. So we will be sampling every bar of chocolate we sell, over mm. 30 different flavors of chocolate. And I brought some of my favorites here today for you guys to try. Okay. Let's do it. Let's Where do you want to start? So I would start here. This is a caramel crunch. It has milk chocolate with sea salt. Mm. The cool thing about this chocolate bar is that the farmers who grow the chocolate also own the company. So mm. they also get the fair price for their cocoa, but then they also get a share of the profits at the end. That is really good. Delightful. Yeah. Now, what else do you have? I already so tried that I one. also you have, this is a, a dark chocolate with coffee for all of the coffee lovers. This now, is made in Madagascar. I've been mm. watching Volanda. Volanda does these TV bites. It's like really so good. <laughs> so you can still talk. I'm exactly, learning. Exactly, exactly. That's really good. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I'm not crazy about coffee. Right. But it's still really good chocolate. It's a subtle flavor. I also have a dark chocolate with mint. Mmm, I've been waiting for this one. It's a creamy dark chocolate from Ghana with mint. Oh, that is delightful. Yes. Mm. Mm. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is actually the stone ground chocolate. So this cocoa comes from the Dominican Republic, but it's made in a traditional Mexican style. So it has a grittiness. This is the salt and pepper. And then if you like spicy, we have a guajillo chili. And it has a texture almost like cookie mm. dough. It has a real grittiness it from does. the cocoa I like beans. that. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah. It's a surprise. That is outstanding. Yes. That's and unlike you, any piece of chocolate I've ever absolutely. had. Absolutely. And oh. you can also chop it and mix it into warm milk or almond milk and make a drinking chocolate can with I it as this? well. You can. It's You're not supposed to invite people out here to ask them for free stuff. <laughs> absolutely. I've got to have that. Oh, my. That is so that is good. really good. Yeah. And tell me about this last one. So that's the guajillo chili. So if you like spicy, it finishes with a really nice heat at the end. You don't often mm. think about chili or salt in chocolate, but it actually really enhances the flavor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These would be great gifts for Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Just package a few up, put a bow on it. I'd love it. And be done. Thank you so much, Amy. Yeah, I thanks really for having it. me. And thank you for the work that you do bringing us awareness Absolutely. about thank the importance you. of fair trade. In a delicious part. way. <laughs>